Hello and welcome to another fraction video where we're gonna learn so much about fractions today. We're learning about fractions on a number line. So consider this question. Sean ran one mile and Gemma ran four fourths of a mile. Did Sean and Gemma run the same distance? Well, there's only one way to find out for sure. Let's go ahead and put it on a number line. Now I want you to consider from zero to one is always the whole. So in this case, zero to one is one mile. What I'm doing is breaking the whole into parts. I want to show you that it's very much the same as having a bar and breaking it up into parts. So let's count the parts. One, two, three, four parts. So the whole mile is broken into four equal parts. That means four is going to be my denominator or my number at the bottom. So this piece is one fourth and then this part is two fourths. This part is three fourths and then the last part is four fourths. Notice how four fourths and one mile is the same. So to answer the question, if Sean ran one mile and Gemma run, ran four fourths of a mile, then they both ran the same distance since one whole is the same as four fourths. When your numerator and denominator are the same, then it's one whole. Let's try this one. What is the fraction that names the dot on the number line? Remember, the number line shows zero to one and the whole is always from zero to one. So we're gonna break the whole into pieces to figure out our denominator. In this case, there are six equal pieces, so six is my denominator. There's one, six, two, six, three, six, four, six, five, six, and six, six would be my whole. However, the dot is on five, six. So five, six is the fraction that names the, the dot on the number line. What is the fraction that names the dot on this number line? Okay, remember from zero to one is my whole, and here's your dot. So let's count the pieces that the whole is broken into. So that's four, five, six, seven, eight equal parts. So eight is my denominator. So that's zero eighths, one eighth, two eighths, and so on and so on and so on until we get to the whole or eight eighths. But the dot is actually on three eighths. So three eighths is the fraction that names the dot on the number line. You're doing great. Let's try another one. So the dot this time is way past the whole. Let's see if we can still do this. Yes, we can. So one, two, three pieces. Here's your reminder. The whole, the whole fraction is from zero to one. Okay, on this number line, the whole is broken into three equal parts. So three will be my denominator or the number at the bottom of the bar. So that's zero thirds, one third, two thirds, and then three thirds, which is the same as a whole, but we keep going, four thirds, five thirds, six thirds, seven thirds, eight thirds, but the dot is on six thirds. So six thirds is my answer for the dot that names the fraction. Well, the fraction that names the dot on the number line. So what did we learn in this lesson? We learned that fractions can be represented on a number line. We also learned that a number line shows is rep well a whole is represented from zero to one and we also learned that we must count all the t total amount in the whole to determine the denominator so in this case zero one two three my whole is broken into three equal parts we can then name all the points on the number line so this one's zero thirds one third, two thirds, three thirds, and I'm sure you're seeing the pattern now, three thirds, four thirds. We keep going, five thirds, six thirds, seven thirds, eight thirds, and that's it. I hope you learned a lot in this lesson, fractions on, on the number line. I'll see you in the next video.